Located in Frankfort, Kentucky, Buffalo Trace Distillery is a national landmark and is the oldest continuously operating distillery in the country. Many know and have heard of the distillery because of their distinguished and popular bourbon whiskey products. Their free tastings are the special feature that has them booked for weeks in advance. But that's not why we're here today. We're here because there's so much more under the surface of the distillery that many don't take into account while visiting. While those of legal drinking age may be interested in the free tastings and history of whiskey, others may find aspects such as science, engineering, agriculture, or business more suitable. When you walk into the visitor center at the distillery, one of their educational features are shelves of old artifacts such as bottles and tools that are part of the distillery's history. In the drawers are architectural and mechanical designs that help the engineers and architects make the buildings that are on the grounds presently. While this may be irrelevant to others, it is a great way for those with these career pathways and ideas to get some insight on what kinds of designs the architects had for the distillery. It is also a way for people to see how plans are drawn out and how they were made so long ago. While taking the trace tour, there is much to explore and listen to. There are many big machines that are being operated for many different reasons. One fun fact is that these tall buildings you see hold hundreds of thousands of gallons of liquid. Most distilleries only have cookers that hold a couple hundred gallons. Everything at this distillery is on a dramatically larger scale than others. Therefore, the distillery is in the need of plethora of mechanics and welders to make sure everything is ran smoothly. One of the buildings you go into shows many barrels and it also shows these older pots and pans that were used so long ago. These were the types of tools used to make bourbon back when they first started producing it. This picture with the four barrels shows the evaporation rate for the aging process that pertains to bourbon whiskey. As you can see, the absorption and evaporation that occur in these barrels is significant. In the lab, chemists, chemical engineers, and master distillers work to figure out different ways to combat the loss of product, accelerate aging, and create new flavors. Haley Wan from the University of Alberta has actually used distillation process to explain the chemical importances of whiskey and the complexity of it. These barrels are stored in one of their many warehouses, but what many don't know is that temperature has much to do with the expansion of the woods from the barrel, which has an effect on the product. There are about 6,000 experimental barrels at the distillery. They consist of things like grooving the inside of barrels and seeing if cold shaded spots have an effect on the product. One of their more artistic aspects comes into play with designing the tops of Blanton's bottles. Each of these tops is unique to the bottle and many designs have yet to be made. Nearing the end of your visit, there is a photo gallery that depicts the founders and those who helped make the distillery a success. There are writings that explain the history behind it and what they did in parts of the distillery. While the distillery may be labeled as a place where you are offered free tastings and on your tours and up behind the scenes in the making of your favorite beverage, there is so much more to be sought after regarding the informational and education aspect of the distillery.